Hey everyone, welcome to Serbia. So we are staying in Serbia for like three days um, and then I just want to see you what is my first impression coming here in Serbia. Do I like it or do I not like it? Hello. to the new downtown here in Belgrade uh, it's really really fancy and very beautiful here so apparently they just built this downtown in 2014 and as you can see there are so many skyscrapers are being built so right before this new downtown was built it was just a 177 hectares of wheat strewn abundant lot but in 2012 they are thinking to do a business district here that's why it's called new downtown here now which is really beautiful i really i can't believe how beautiful the downtown is you know in this downtown it's got so many good fancy restaurants fancy hotel and they also built some apartments um, and I believe um, it costs more than like maybe two million dollars um, also they have playgrounds and I, and I also saw street food vendors not so many but it's still cool to just visit here with friends if you're low budget so you can just come here chilling by lake and uh, just go to the street food vendor for information the owner itself is the one who's responsible for building the Burj Khalifa in Dubai which why I'm not really surprised why this is really beautiful and also Serbia government on this place too So far, I really have no regret coming here. Um, people are really friendly here. I don't know, I don't know why not so many people come here to Serbia. People are very friendly. Wi-Fi is everywhere. It's not really expensive. I think it's same price as Indonesia. Um, and yeah, the place is really beautiful. I'm trying to find another park here called Fort Fortress. But it looks like Serbia is just surrounded by many parks <sighs> And apparently it's so kids friendly So it's literally good for family vacation Also everything looks really perfect here People are always nice They're super friendly um, The staff in our hotel She was really super friendly to us She just explained everything we need and she literally just show us what restaurant should we eat, where to go. No, not the finger chair. I get the whole hand dirty. It's an injury to never breathe, make a body sturdy. And if you get into that. So guys, I finally made it to Fortress. Um, it's a very beautiful, beautiful park. It's huge. And I didn't see the ancient building because I think it's further away. And I just got to the entrance here. So this is a different park. Um, called Kalamagna, Kalamag, Kal, Ka, Kel Magdan, Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is a very, very, very nice park where you can see the Belgrade area. So yeah, people are people are now sitting on the park, waiting for sunset because this is the perfect spot to see sunrise or even sunset. I don't know exactly how big this park is. But as far as I know, this park is amazing. They have like 
first they have like historical building and then they have a spot where you can see sunset and sunrise and then there's also also spot that you can just sit on the bench just reading books or just do some picnic it's amazing beautiful all right now we are going to old town here it's not really far from this park i think it's only 200 meters to 300 meters away and by the way these parks overuse from street vendors they also have a playground here for kids oh my god this is really 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 beautiful <laughs> So, so now I'm in Old Town here, next to me is the mall, people are just done with work so they just come here to chill with their family or just to eat at their restaurants here in Old Town. So far, this place is my favorite here in Belgrade because here you can find so many good cafes, good restaurants, they also have some, some street food vendors and they have like a very good mall here surprised me because I didn't know that Serbia would be this alive because I was thinking Serbia was like a country that was so quiet and cold and people not warm but I was wrong at all so my first impression coming to this Belgrade Serbia is totally my favorite it's totally breathtaking I would really recommend you to come here in, to Serbia because as I mentioned before people are really nice and the Wi-Fi is everywhere and then most of the time you don't need to pay by cash you can only use your cards oh. by the way they there is no Uber here in Serbia you need to download a different app for for that I'm gonna put the name down here so you can just download it and then it's really easy to download you can just pay with card and, and you can also pay by cash so it's really up to you now I'm gonna go ahead go to the mall I want to check what they have and maybe I can get some dinner and I can get I like something to eat tonight Done buying food here for Alexander and me. I went to Chinese restaurant here called Asia Food. Um, I don't know how it tastes like, but it looks really nice. It's been such an amazing day here exploring by myself in Belgrade. Usually I go with Alex, but he is busy doing something else. Um, by the way, thank you so much for watching my vlog. If you have any comment, if you have any comment, if you have any question, please write them below or on my Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye bye. No, not the finger chair. I get the whole